Hello, dear viewers. My name is Sik Han Zipi Simhan. Today, we'll continue our course on interpreting the results of geochemical analysis of oil, gas, rock, and the formation water. Today, we have the third part of the seminar. The topic is practical interpretation of the results of diamondoid analysis of oil. This lesson is intended for oil and gas industry specialists who are engaged in hydrocarbon exploration studies. Here we focus on the practical interpretation of the results. Therefore, if you intend to interpret the results of this analysis of, I recommend watching this video till the end. This slide provides brief information about myself. I already introduced myself last time. Here is information about the structure of the course in detail. The course consists of 15 parts of this. I I've already showed you the previous two parts. I've already demonstrated you the interpretation of the results of gas chromatography and the biomark analysis of oil. In this lesson, I will explain you the application of the results of diamondoid analysis of oil to determine the thermal maturity and the mixing of genetically different oils to verify the correctness of analysis or reliability of the conclusions obtained, it is also necessary to compare the results of diamond analysis with those of gas chromatography analysis of oil. I'll talk about this more in the next slides. Diamondoids are alkane hydrocarbons that are found in light oils and gas condensates and have a diamond crystal lattice consisting of mainly of carbon. As you can see in the table, there are several groups of diamondoids such as adamantanes, diamantanes, trimantanes, and so on. Their formulas and the molecular weights are presented here. These hydrocarbons are more resistant to thermal and the biological destruction than other hydrocarbons. Currently, the only known natural source of adamantane is crude oil. Adamantane was first isolated from oil of hodonine field before it was synthesized in the laboratory. The adamantane occurs, occurs in oil in low concentration. To date, about 30 hydrocarbons of the adamantane series have been found in oil, the total content of which is 10 or more times higher than that of adamantane itself. According to famous chemists, if hydrogen is extracted from adamantane, this will make it possible to synthesize such diamonds from oil. Also, personally, I am wary of this idea. But even without this idea, adamantane has a useful application. <clears throat> it has unique properties due to its structure. Adamantane is used in modern medicine, electronics, and nanotechnology. There are several methods of isolating adamantane and its derivatives from petroleum fractions. The simplest, most accessible and technologically advanced method of them is a dark formation with zero carbon mites, carbon mite. However, so the world its synthesis from oil is recognized as economically unprofitable since the average adamantane content in oil is very scarce in the mass in the vast majority of oil fields. Okay. In our geochemical geochemistry laboratory we use four methods to study diamondoids. During gas chromatography analysis of gas condensates on the chromatogram elute first adamantanes, then diamantanes, triamantanes, and so on. For more detailed and quantitative analysis, we perform the analysis in SIM and MRM modes. For in-depth genetic study, isotopic analysis of carbon in these diamondoids is also carried out. In SIM mode, we set such M plus ions to identify more than 30 diamondoids in oil, depending on the characteristics of the oil. The advantage of this mode compared to the Full scan method is that in the SIM mode focuses only on the specified ions and therefore the sensitivity and the signal to no noise ratio increases. 
in our laboratory, we carry out diamondoid analysis mainly in RM, in MRM mode. Also, in the beginning, we did perform this analysis a couple of times in, in the SIM mode. I have already shown you the advantages and the disadvantages of this mode in detail in previous lessons, so I recommend watching the lesson on biomap analysis if you wish to know more about this mode. If you are faced with the task of identifying mixtures of different oils using biomarker and diamond data analysis, firstly, before analysis, you need to add internal standards to the composition of oil in order to calculate the concentration of diamondoids and biomarkers in ppm concentration. As internal standards, we usually add a certain concentration of decolestane to the standard solution of hexane, which is injected with the oil into the instrument. Secondly, you should run this analysis in, in MRM mode to integrate the peaks of diamondates, diamondanes, stearanes, and the decolestanes correctly by ion channels 202, 187, so on. Thirdly, the true concentrations of biomarkers and diamondoids are determined by proportions using the peak areas and the PPM concentration of internal standards. Diamondoids are used for identifying mixtures of oils, assessing the degree of oil cracking and thermal maturity of even over mature oil since the concentration of diamondoids in oil increases with thermal maturity increase and cracking of heavy hydrocarbons into smaller molecules both in the source rock itself and the reservoir. The significance of oil cracking in high temperature is why it lies in the fact that this process generates light oils and gases that dissolve in oil and contribute to the further migration can create additional pressure inside the formation, which in some cases leads to fractures in rocks and breaks long molecules of heavy oils into smaller ones and uh, can fill the poor spaces of rocks, leading to the movement of formation fluids. The essence of determining the presence or absence of a mixture of two genetically different oils using biomarker and diamond egg analysis that black oils that haven't undergone high thermal maturity conditions usually have a relatively high concentration of biomarkers, while gas condensates that have undergone thermal maturity stages contain low concentration of biomarkers, but high content of diamondoids and aromatic compounds. When black oil is mixed with gas condensates, the final product contains high concentration of biomarkers and diamondoids. Accordingly, Oil from two different sources fall into the into zone of triangles, and the oils from one source lie either in this line or in that line, depending on thermal maturity. The decrease in stigma stain concentration during thermal maturation of crude oil is caused by cracking of stigma stain at high temperatures, and the dilution with other compounds as more mature oil is generated from kerogen to source when our geochemical laboratory was opened with the cooperation of Shell and Cosmonegas in 2015, we were sent to Holland for training and a year later, later to England. Then we had our first project on geochemical analysis of oil and gas from Uzen Field. For those who do not know about this field, I would like to know that Uzen is the largest field in the South Mandelschlag Basin. More than 4,000 wells penetrating 24 horizons have been drilled there. Our biomarker analysis revealed that oils of the upper 13, 14 horizons have organic matter from Lacaster and source, while the oils of the lower horizons were generated from marine organic matter. As seen here, diamondoid analysis showed high concentration of both diamondoids and the biomarkers in the oil, oil from Uzen field, which indicates a mixture of oil of Lucastan and uh, marine sources. If you are interested in reading this paper, you can scan this QR. A similar pattern can be traced in the oils of some fields of the 
Caspian basin where the mixture of the oil is also confirmed by the chromatogram of the oil in the form of two peaks of enolkanes. To determine a mixture of two oils, you can also use the carbon isotope signature of diamond dates in oil. For example, here is the distribution of the carbon isotope composition in different other maintained oil uh, series in oil from Jurassic Silurian deposits and their mixtures. According to this plot, it can be clearly determined that the mixture of two oils is a yellow line, which is located between the blue Jurassic and red Silurian oil lines. The relative proximity of the yellow and the blue lines indicates that the mixture contains more contribution to the Jurassic oil. To determine thermal maturity, we can use little diamond oil ratio since it increases with increasing maturity. Our published papers on J Temple studies are presented here. If you are interested, you can read them for more in-depth study of this video lesson. Thank you for your